Oh my god. WWE WrestleMania 31. That's what we're talking about tonight. I cannot believe what I've seen. Oh yeah, sorry. Warriors, welcome and thank you for the support. Love you guys. I'm back in there. I want to do a video where I talk about WrestleMania 31 that happened just today. Incredible pay-per-view. Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. Let's get into this, Warriors. This match, yeah, the problem when I saw this was I thought, there's no way Brock Lesnar is going to lose to Roman Reigns. There's no way it's going to happen. There's only one way it could go. Roman Reigns is going to join the authority. The authority is going to come out and save Roman Reigns. And he's going to become a bad guy and get the championship. That's the only way I could see him beating Brock Lesnar. Because I don't believe in Roman Reigns. He hasn't shown me in epic matches. He hasn't been there long enough. He hasn't showed me. He hasn't made me believe in him from his people he's been fighting against. He's just been fighting about Big Show, which is boring his matches. Slowest boring his matches that bore the hell out of me. Mark Henry, Kane. I know he's kind of like boring wrestling. I haven't seen him fought against. I haven't seen him have epic matches with Sheamus. I haven't seen him have matches against Cesaro. I haven't seen him have matches against Ryback or. I don't know, I know that normally baby faces don't fight and good guys don't fight, whatever you want to call them. But I haven't seen him fight Dolph Ziggler, I haven't seen him fight Tyson Kidd, I haven't seen him fight against any of those type of wrestlers. You know, fast, light heavyweights, you know, 250, 245 range, I haven't seen him fight those type of wrestlers. You know, I haven't even seen him fight 300 pounders other than Kane. You know, so I don't know what he's capable of. I've not seen any of his moves. He hardly does any type of, like, suplexes or holds or anything. So how can I know what this guy's capable of? They never show me. Or they ever show me until it's his Superman punch and his Samoan drop and that drop kick he does where he runs around the ring. And then the occasional odd move here and there in, like, different matches. He does a different move, which is one move out of two or three moves that he does in an entire match. And he'll do, like, one random move. So I don't know about Roman Reigns. I don't know what he's capable of. This WrestleMania showed me one thing. This man is tough, tough, tough. He is tough. This motherfucker took... Ro okay, Brock Lesnar punched Roman Reigns in the face. Real. He knocked Roman Reigns' tooth out. I didn't even know until Roman Reigns looked at him, smiled, and then spat his tooth at Brock Lesnar. And I couldn't believe it. Was that, was that a tooth? I rewound it. Roman Reigns spat his tooth out on Brock Lesnar. And he smiled at Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar was kneeing him, punching him, elbowing him, German suplexing him, T-bone suplexing him, suplexing him, doing everything. F5ing him. He f Roman Reigns like about four or five times. Roman Reigns kept kicking out. Roman Reigns kept on spitting his teeth out. And every time Brock Lesnar, knocked, I think he knocked at least two or three teeth out of Roman Reigns' mouth. And every time he did, Roman Reigns kept spitting his, spat his tooth out at Brock Lesnar. I just smiled at him. And you think to yourself, why would you do that? Why are you laughing? And Roman Reigns kept on like shaking his head, saying like, it don't hurt me. That's, you have to kill me to stop me. And this match was real. Like it had that super big fight feel. Now I felt that this was going to be a big fight. Yeah, I don't know why. Because I, I felt like Roman Reigns can't beat me. For me, it was a case of how bad is Brock Lesnar going to beat up Roman Reigns and then take the championship. That's either one outcome or it's going to be a blowout. I'm just going to be like a seven minute match where Brock Lesnar just destroys him and he's just too battered to fight back. Roman Reigns is too battered to fight back and it's over. That match was half an hour, just under half an hour and it was a fucking fight. That fight was ridiculous. The match was godlike. Roman Reigns is god like, I will never disrespect that man again. I will never call him a fraud. I will never boo him. I don't know why the American fans boo him, first of all. He must be getting shoved down their throats in America. Because I don't see why there's so much hate for him. I do understand the way he's being forced down our necks. And he's getting mad opportunities that other people don't get. Like Dolph Ziggler, Daniel Bryan. Who's like the best and one of the most popularist wrestlers in WWE. But you can tell the management don't really want him to be in the spotlight. They want it to be Seth, Dean Ambrose, Ryback and Roman Reigns. That's who they want to be in the spotlight. But it's the fans, the people that dictate who they want to be the champion or they want to be in the spotlight because they'll boo whoever is in the spotlight to get the people that are not in the spotlight that they want to be in the spotlight and maybe that's why they boo Roman Reigns I don't know but Roman Reigns has proved to me he's legit that fight was absolutely incredible and it was epic 
You know, and I respect Roman Reigns. You know, even though they boo, the fans boo him, he still comes through the crowd. Even though the crowd still get up in his face and they try to like touch him or pull his hair or do some stupidness to him, put middle fingers up at him or stuff like that, he still comes through the crowd and I respect that. He's even still got the old Shield music, which I'm glad he's still got the Shield music. Yeah, but he's just proved to me that he is real. He is legit because that fight that he had with Brock Lesnar, that was what it was. They weren't a wrestling match. It was a fight. Brock Lesnar got bloody. He got punched up. He got airborne. He got kneed. He got everything. Like Brock Lesnar, his face was swollen. He had cuts. His mouth was bleeding. His nose was bleeding. His eye was bleeding. His cheekbone was swollen, bleeding. Roman Reigns was busted up. His mouth was bleeding. Blood was coming out of his nose. You can see Roman Reigns' his head was ringing from those shockers he had to hold in his head. And like he was kind of like shaking and stuff like that as he was getting up. You know, sometimes it looked like he wasn't going to get up. And that match was real. And he just kept on kicking out. Man, that tournament that match was that wrestlemania was actually if not the one of the best wrestlemanias i've ever watched top three easily top three best wrestlemanias ever not just because of this match you know sting versus triple h i thought that match was going to be garbage that match was so fucking sick i could not believe it i thought it was going to be a slow paced match that's going to stink out the joint no it wasn't it was absolutely Amazing, entertaining, the, one of the most entertaining matches I've ever seen. Sting, I take my hat off to you. Well done. But back to Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar has proved, uh, he didn't need to prove nothing, but Brock Lesnar's a beast. That man is ridiculous. But Roman Reigns, I'm astounded. I'm flabbergasted by the heart, the resolve, the strength, the determination. You can clearly see you have to kill that guy to stop that guy. I'm never going to disrespect Roman Reigns again. He's proved himself. Infinitely. He's the only man that's got the courage. Uh, Triple H. John Cena. They're the only two people that have the courage, the ball, to fight Brock Lesnar and fight him. Like, to challenge him and to fight him. Like, in a match that Brock Lesnar has. Not a wrestling match. Not a proper scripted match. Like, you can see it's a raw, dirty fight. Yeah, that's what Brock Lesnar's matches are. And Bro Roman Reigns is up there now. Seth Rollins as well. I'll give it to Seth Rollins. But I want to see Seth Rollins in a one-on-one -on -one match. Seth Rollins came out and he stole it. He's done um, and he turned into a triple threat match towards the end. Right? I can't believe it. I could not believe when Seth Rollins came out. I was genuinely, I was heartbroken that Seth Rollins um, stole it. Because I looked at myself and I was doing that. I couldn't believe it. And then they showed the shot of the crowd. And the crowd was doing the same thing like that. You know? And it turned into, yeah, we all feel the same thing. Because that match was so good. It One of those two deserved to win. Brock or Roman. Nobody else. Nobody else deserved to win except one of those two. You know? But the fact that it had to go down to Seth Rollins coming in and stealing it. It is what it is, it's WWE and Seth Rollins is a word because he had some of the best matches of 2014. So he does deserve to be champion. In that match, I don't think so. One of those two, Brock or Roman, deserve to win. Brock or Roman Reigns deserve to win. But it is what it is. Seth Rollins is now the champion. That is incredible. We have a full-time champion that's always going to be on Raw, always be on SmackDown. I just hope those they don't leave him as a coward. And I hate the way they're... They're showing off um, right, um, Seth Rollins like he's a coward. Like he needs to hide behind J&J security or the authority. He's not. The man is top tier. He can fight on his own. But anyway, Seth Rollins came out, made it into um, cashing his money in the bank, turned it into a triple threat match, and won it. He stole it. It's over. Then Roman Reigns came in, speared Brock Lesnar, which was a wicked, raw, brutal FM spear. And then that knocked Brock Lesnar out. And Rob um, Seth Rollins rolled out of tech rolled out of it and then curb stomped Roman Reigns and it was over uh, it was absolutely incredible I'm flabbergasted I'm still I'm actually still shaking at how excited I am over that match I'm gonna watch it again you know so I want to say thank you for watching thank you for tuning in so until my next video stay tuned and thanks for being fabulous okay guys until my next video take care <coughs> From Pensacola,